Hey guys, Christine here, and I am so dedicated to uplifting others. And so you can make some mindful decisions along your path. If you're interested in your chance for a free reading, um, check the information box below. On the 15th of every month, I do a free reading drawing. If you are on my email list, if you are selected, then I will contact you for a reading. It's a one-hour session, so if you're interested in that, check the link below. I am also open for personal readings. You can find, um, you can schedule on my website, so if you're interested in that, also check that out there let's see what your guidance for today is what is the guidance that the person watching this video needs to know today watching the clouds rest lie back rest and relax so remember lying back and relaxing is a great way for you to do a bunch of things first it allows you to really um refocus your energy it allows you to see things clearly it allows you to see the beauty that is already in the world and really allows you to connect with it and sometimes those times of relaxation is when you are able to um, really find some clarity but sometimes it's just about taking time for yourself, that self-love routine, and really allowing you to renew that energy. That way, your awareness and new insights can start to come to the surface. But And you don't have sometimes doing nothing is the best thing you can do. Um, it allows you to, you know, evaluate what's important for you, what what is good in your life, um, where do you think maybe you can take some action. But when you're lying back and relaxing, that's where you find that you can... Um, really like see things that maybe you wouldn't see when you're always busy and on the hustle and bustle. So allow yourself to lie back, relax, and just observe and listen to the quiet whispers of the universe and the whispers of your mind and see what comes to the surface. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's go into the reading. So t I'm, not, I'm not even going to lie. As I'm making this video, I am kind of dragging a little bit. I had to really like pump myself up this morning because I had a hard time waking up this morning, but that really doesn't surprise me because I had, I've been having like a little bit of insomnia. So if you're experiencing that, you know, just know that it's kind of, it comes and it will go, um, especially when you're going through a time of like a second awakening or like a re like a level up because when you have a lot of energy coming in, like it can feel a little overwhelming until your body kind of adapts to that new vibration. Um, it doesn't just happen overnight. Your body has to adapt to it. So just, you know, if you're feeling that right now, know that it will pass. You just need to take a little extra time to kind of get um, yourself together, take a little extra time in your self-care routine and really pay attention to sleep, your sleep routine, like sleep, make sleep a priority. Okay, make sleep a priority. All right, so we got the Ten of Wands. We got the Tower in reverse. We got the Three of Swords in reverse. We got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. We got the Four of Cups. We got the Five of Cups in reverse. And we got the Page of Pentacles in reverse. All right, let's see what's going on here. So in the recent past, um, you got the 10 of wands. The 10 of wands is about feeling very overextended, like you were carrying a lot of burden and um, you were really struggling to get through some things. Like I really struggling to kind of like I almost feel like relax. Like you had a hard time. It's like you're just carrying all the weight in relationships. You feel like you're carrying all the weight when it comes to your job, when it comes to having to do everything. But remember when you're, I see that, um, that you don't have to do everything that you can ask for assistance. And what I mean by ask for assistance is you can ask that like, yourself like what is mine to carry what is really my burden and what is something that i can really you know give back to the person it came from that i don't really have to carry the burden for them and when i feel this it, it also feels like if it's a, a relationship that you know you are deserving of receiving and giving to like in in an equal manner that you don't have to carry the relationship alone that you're able to um really Put some of that down because remember at any point in time the person can put 
the burden down. But this is, um, remember that sometimes you just have to be willing to put something down, right? That when there's a place, when your energy is going and life is in a place of like go, 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 that you have to remember that what you, if you feel overburdened, you start to lose the, the enthusiasm for life. So remember that this is the end of that cycle. So you're able, you're going to find that that enthusiasm, that passion is going to come back and it's going to come back very quickly for you, but you just have to allow the cycle to, you, you, you're, you have to allow yourself to work through the cycle right now. So if you feel like you're overburdening and you're overextending yourself, like really allow your time to, to allow your time and take some time to, for yourself to what? Sit back, relax and let things kind of happen. Because what I see right now in the present is that you have the tower in reverse. So the tower in reverse is about um, resistance, resisting change, right? It's also about a personal transformation. Um, it's also about you know, like averting, like something was almost at like, like you, you are like, it's a close call, a close call, right? Um, that you could have really experienced something bad but you did, you had a revelation, right? And um, you really were able to make some changes, but you didn't, you didn't experience like the full chaos of the, of the tower. Does that make, does that make sense? Um, but this is like also, it can be the fear of change. Don't let the fear of change, like keep you from being able to move forward. Um, but I also, I really feel more like this is like a, a close call, close call, ugh, close, a close call. Like you, um, you just, um, made some changes and accepted some things in enough time to kind of save, save something that was really important to you. Right. But this couldn't, in the new, near future, you have the three of swords in reverse, which is about healing. You're still doing some healing. Um, you're still, um, working through some things. So, Allow, pay attention to your dreams, allow yourself to um, work through some of these last things that are coming to the surface. Remember that the journey is an ever going journey. The journey of the soul is an ever going journey. That um, you, when you're healing, like healing is not like a one and done kind of thing, that it's a continuous thing that, but you are doing a great job. You are healing. You are, um, you are moving into a place of really working towards your confidence. But what I see here in what you can do to help the situation is that exactly, is to work on your confidence. Cause I'm showing that you are feeling maybe a little insecure right now, um, that you uh, might feel like you are not very abundant, but that is um, your mindset. That is your mindset that you are actually very abundant, that you are very comp, like you have the ability to be very confident. Don't, don't, I feel like you're maybe you're, you're second guessing yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Like if you are feeling something and you you go to act on it, that um, just continue to move to move on it. Um, and this is also about really making sure to take time for yourself. Uh, make sure you're allowing your you know if you're going after something, you don't want to experience burnout. So make sure that um, you take take time out. Take allow yourself to breathe. Really about really allow yourself to cultivate a good personal relationship with yourself and develop like a good pattern that works for you. And then here it, um, obstacles, hopes, and fears. I mean, obstacles or outside influences, my bad, outside influences. You have the four of cups, right? The four of cups is about, um, j j like the need to go within, like go within, right? But don't, don't close everybody out. Do you see how this cloud is kind of offering this person a cup? It's like opportunities are going to be presented to you, but don't be so focused on how you expect them to come in that you are closed off and, you know, not, not seeing what is being offered, right? And I feel <clears throat> the more you can do this, the more you can be like, okay, that's not really what I expected, but it's still, it's still, you know, something I should, you know, acknowledge and I should see, and I should even think about, you know, going for it. So it's like the universe's way of saying, hey, I know, I know you're doing good work and I'm going to offer you something and get, bring a little bit of hope back into your life, but you have to be willing to see it. Don't just focus on these things of the past and ha what, th what happened there, because if you do that, you're going to find that you might miss what's happening right now. 
and this is not a time for you to do that. But I do see that you're coming out of that lack mindset that you're really, you know, things are getting better. Things are getting better. That you have gone through this time that you realize that um, not all is lost. Not all is lost. That there are still opportunities um, available to you. But you just, And there are still things that are of great importance, of great value that are still in your life and that you can see. Um, so just remember, focus on the things that are working, not on the things that are not working and things will, you know, really, um, continue to improve, but you know, in, and then in the final outcome right now, I see that you're a little unfocused, you're a little unfocused, um, that, and you're having a little problem trusting. And I feel like this is a problem with trusting with yourself and the knowledge that you have. Um, all the knowledge you have, you, you have right now is going to help you move forward build that trust with yourself when it comes to relationships that you are able to show up for yourself is what I really feel because what I'm getting in the overall thing, overall message of this relationship, of this, um, reading is really your relationship with yourself. The better relationship you build with yourself, the better relationship you have with the universe, the better relationship you have with others. Um, the more that you are going to be able to recognize some opportunities, um, you're just going through that healing process. And this is part of that process. This is part of that process. I feel that that trust, the more that you trust and believe and um, allow yourself to surrender to allow the universe to really show up for you, the more you're gonna see it. And the more that you allow yourself to see it, the more that you get, the universe is going to continue to show up. Is there anything else at this part? So yeah, don't be so defensive. Let down your barrier a little bit. Know that things are gonna get easier and you won't have to fight as hard. It's going to be okay to let down your guard a little bit, right? Let down your guard a little bit because look at this. You got the two of wands. The world is your oyster. This is about, you know, you're taking your personal power, um, having that boldness and allowing your authentic self to lead and knowing that you can do anything. It's like taking that, um, it's not taking the first step, but it's taking like the, the next step after the first step. And then it just keeps getting easier and easier the more that you build that, that trust and just, that unwavering, I hear unwavering faith, right? And look at that. This is going to happen. Things are going to start happening very quickly for you. There is communication coming your way. There is fast action coming your way. And you're going to know when to take action. But you have to allow yourself to rest so rest and have the moments of clarity. So that way you, you can see the signs. And that way you can um, have the energy to be able to to do it. So I feel like right now what this is saying is like you're in a time of like rebuilding, but you're going to soon be in a time of quick action and you'll know when to take the action that is meant for you. Um, also the eight of wands can mean like good news coming your way. It could be conclusions. It can be like receiving messages that you, um, or answers that you've been looking for. So if you're looking for answers, are you looking for things to, you know, make a decision, you should be finding those answers very soon. I, but I think it comes when you're not really expecting it. Um, but make sure like right now, the, the guidance is, you know, really focus on yourself and your healing process. Um, really focus on building up your confidence, really focus on um, the things that are working. And you want to make sure that you are in that abundant mindset, not in the lack mindset. The abundant mindset is really going to help you. Um, there is so much power when it comes to the mind. Um, just allow yourself to focus on one thing at a time as it comes to as it comes to you, right? And really allow yourself to not only forgive yourself, but forgive others. Allow yourself to remember that you don't need any social approval and you don't need to, you know, um, have anyone say, yes, this is, is right for you. You get to say what's right for you, right? You get to say what's right for you. Um, so right now, just um, even though you might not feel that things are moving forward just know that things are going to start moving forward very quickly you're just going to need to have a little patience with yourself with others and that all the answers that you need are coming very soon in the future so right now just to recap remember that if you want to um get on the list for that personal reading
giveaway. Um, click the link in the description box. Also, I do give away some free readings and I would love to connect with you. And I hope this reading finds you doing well. Like, comment, subscribe below if it does. And if it doesn't, we can connect at a different time. Have a great day.